Hello, this is Dare Tebbers, and this is your Flight Simulator X Mod Spotlight. Bienvenue à Le Bonnier. We're in France. We're at Le Bonnier in Paris. Uh, the reason we're at Le Bonnier, um, well, we're flying a French aircraft. We're flying a Derony uh, 501, which is, it was introduced in the 30s, uh, 1936. See that little, see that little tip of the nose right there is a 20 millimeter cannon. There's its machine guns are under the wing. Um, it's introduced in, uh, to replace the Newport 62. 381 of the 501 and its derivatives were built. Now, the reason we're at Le Bonnier is because right over there, see those rockets? See the rockets? Rockets. Um, <laughs> that is the uh, Air and Space Museum. And at the Air and Space Museum, I actually saw a uh, 520, which would be the the uh, follow-on aircraft to this one. So we're going to fly this one because I couldn't find a 520 model that worked. Look at the wings. Wings work. Wait a minute. Turn. Oh, I guess they do. They don't have very much range of movement there. Okay. All right. So right off the bat, our, our cockpit is pretty bar pretty barren and sparse, but you know what, it actually fits time period wise. Um, let's let's take to the skies. There's really no reason not to. BM's coming up nice. This is an 860 horsepower Hispano Suiza V12. So a lot of power. I mean open cockpit, 800 horsepower. Quite the uh, crack to the engine there. Aha! It's also uh, gravity fed. <laughs> I was just going to check that. <laughs> yep, gravity fed engine. I'm um, just checking cylinder temperature. Let's back off a little bit. So there would be a uh, the gall over there. That might be the gall over there. Now the one thing that's missing from that Air and Space Museum, they have a uh, 747-100 from Air France and a Caraval sitting out on the tarmac, as well as 727 from uh, FedEx. And uh, in one of those hangars, well, I mean they did a terrible job of modeling it here, but there's one of them, in a hangar there, they've got two Concords. I gotta say, walking into that room, you're like, there's no way that those Concords are as old as they are, but there you go. They're old and retired, sadly. So, I mean, this plane, this plane served with the Chinese Air Force. It served with the Spanish forces during the Spanish Civil War. It did serve, it served in Morocco. Let's see the other direction there. Let's, let's head to Paris itself. Let's go check out Paris itself. Uh, imagine flying over Paris in an open cockpit plane like this. Look at the traffic down there. Crazy people, you should fly over it. Uh, it also served with uh, some forces that... Um, they shipped it out to various various areas. One of the areas they the French found out that the aircraft were being used because they were they were transshipped. So one one nation got them and then they shipped them on to another nation. The French actually demanded the return of not the aircraft but the engine. They just wanted that that Hispano Suiza V12. And uh, so they ripped the engines out. That country ripped all the engines out and sent them back. And then uh, in place of that, put some. Uh, engines out of Russian bombers. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we can see here. I do like, the, I mean, the plane, it, it's sort of, you know, exactly what you'd expect. It, it's quick to respond. I like the engine is, is a different sound than the normal engine. Ooh, is uh, Le De France over there? Ooh, I think I see Le De France. Should we try to fly through Le De France? Trying to see what else we got going on. Uh, I'm 
thinking I'm thinking we might just try to fly through Bunker Falls. Because why not, right? It is a uh, it is a good cab ride out of uh, Paris Central to get to Le Bonnier. You can tell Le Bonnier's there. We haven't gone very far, but um, I think it costs me like 40 euros or something like that. I just went out and spent the day. There's Notre Dame. Let's go over there. Fish. Uh, this is one of those times where I, I'd rather download a scenery pack. Look at that, that road doesn't even go over the water very well. <laughs> uh, I kind of need a scenery pack from Paris. Because none of these roads make any sense. Neither do these buildings, actually. <laughs> There's Eiffel Tower. I'm actually looking for very specific buildings right now. We will go to La Défense, but... Um, yeah... That must be the... Louvre. Yeah. Louvre, yeah, that is Louvre. And there's... Uh, so that other green spot over there is... Oh, there's, there's Notre Dame right off my left elevator, right there. Oh, and there's Hotel de Ville down there. Cool. So, right about... Let's see, there's Place de la Concorde. Uh, there's Arc de Triomphe. Ooh, we could try to... Could we? No, let's not do that. <laughs> we will die. Uh, Triomphe. Boulevard Hausmann. Yes. Okay, so that would be that must be Ah ha So there should be there should be a church right there. Because <laughs> right around here is Boulevard Marchelles. Anyway, um <laughs> now that you know way too much about various parts of Paris. Alright, let's go find La Défense. How's, how's our cylinder temperature doing? 200, okay. Manifold pressure is good. Just kind of loping along. Oil is 100 Celsius. Oil temperature and pressure, everything looks good. Alright. Missing something here. There's no La Défense. Oh wait, yeah there is, right there. Let's do it. <laughs> We're in a French plane, it's nationalism, right? <laughs> Give it the full beams. Full throttle ahead. Yeah! We can do this. Oh, I didn't know that there was something in there. Okay, I'm gonna go up a little bit. Ah, this is gonna be easy. We'll even go to the outside. Oh, wait, we don't want to do that. There we go. Outside view. Yeah! Ooh, we did it! Um, there's the ground. There we go. Whoa. Yeah. We, we'd be awesome. <laughs> so there we go. This is uh, the Duotin uh, D502. It's, it's a fun little interwar year aircraft. I just realized my rudder doesn't really work. It's probably speed, though. Let's throttle back a little bit. Um, it's an interwar years aircraft. It did serve its way into World War II with some of the lesser air forces. Uh, fought in the Spanish Civil War. A fun little aircraft to add to your collection, especially if you need interwar year aircraft. If you find those to be fun aircraft, um, we're gonna we're actually gonna try to end this by flying through the Arc de Triomphe and Triumph. Um, there's way too much greenery around the Arc de Triomphe. Not enough cars. Just saying. Um, so the link is down in the description. 
This is a great aircraft. Um, I think I'm going to have to try to do a knife edge flight, and that's probably going to end up into my death. So, uh, till next time, this has been Derek Tevers, defiling French relics. Ooh, we made it. <laughs> uh, so, till next time. Bye.